This is winners round two. Yeah, so you must be someone else too. We watched Crush beat the Samus legend Morse code 762. I love Crush in this match. He's, he's, he's very solid. So Zell's gonna win this, he's gonna have to play really well. Alright, well, I rely on your expertise in the matchup. And dare I say it? I mean, this, this is a high comparison to make. Zealous 5000 has a very EPFDS style. Oh, that is a high comparison to make. The way he plays this game. Starting with a character select color. You can tell he has, you know, he's got his brace. What do you think about, uh, what do you think about his edge guard? Right now? Yeah. Um, he's probably not going to get this one. So. You like the way he's been playing in general? It's all right. How do you think he's approaching the matchup? It's too early to say, Bob. It's the first stop. How do you approach it? Grab them. Grab them. Step you one. think he's been grabbing? You think he's got an emphasis on grab? Neutral air is also really good. That neutral air is very good. You gotta pivot neutral air. You think he's not pivoting enough? Uh, you gotta, yeah, you gotta dash back with the neutral air. The reason why that's good is because it beats running shine and a lot of uh, box arrow approaches. Um, what it loses to is when they try to drill your head and you're in the neutral air. Uh, but when you pivot, you fade back in such a way that drills like It's like an excellent defensive move. That makes sense. It's a good way to protect your dash. What would you do if you scouted out that uh, a fox that you're playing against was dweened out of his mind, had Arduinos in his eye sockets, and every time he grabs the ledge, he's going to perfect left in ledge dash into turnaround up tilt? What would you do if you scouted that player out? If I scout that player out, I tell T.O. immediately. You tell T.O. No. Um, then I just deal with it. How? I mean, it's not going to win them the game. How not? They're still a human. What are you going to do about it? Miss every edge guard, and then win neutral like, twice as often. Oh my god. What, is that not a good strategy? It, it's fine, Blur. It's a strategy I'd use. I just don't know why you don't attack the problem head on. If you know he's going to do it every time, you outspace the up tilt and forward smash them. Just stand farther away. Let them do it. Oh, I thought you were talking about the recovery, but yeah. Yeah, and from the ledge. Perfect ledge dash. Yeah, into perfect ledge dash. Turn around up deal. You just hit them. Well, you can't hit them. They're invincible. But you have to wait no, out. No, no, after the move. You hit them after the move. After. I like that answer. Hit them after the move. Yes. Well, what I'm seeing... Uh, I'm telling you, Crush is good this match. Yeah, Crush is playing super solid. I think... I think Zealous is getting his openings. It's just it's not quite making the most of them in a way that I think you have to versus a fox at this level. Oh, yeah, see, even there, like, he got the Nair, and missing the tech, I think, is the most common option. I feel like you got to get a punish there, you know, and he kind of, like, baited out the get-up attack, but then got hit by it. So that's the kind of little thing that top marks are not going to do. Like, if you miss that tech, I kind of think you could run up and uh, run cancel forward smash. What? Oh, my God! Stay out of that airspace! You're yeah, flying in airs. unsafe airspace. Four up airs, that's kind of unacceptable. Uh, yeah. It should never happen. Crush with those down tilts. We gotta watch out. The down tilt's a game changer in the match. Agree. I like that weight from Zealous 5000. He hit with, the, uh, hit with the first up air and just put in a little heartbeat of a weight. But Crush just kind of held his shield, stood his ground. Oh, so I'll be Crush looks super serious. Uh, yeah. Is he a serious guy? You know what? He's like kind of trolly, but at the same time, um, there's a part of him that's like very dark. Did you just call him a loser, Gimmer? What? Did you just say he's a loser? No. Oh. Oh, Gimmer? Oh. You know, he says he's a loser's crack. That's what he's not. Wait, who Crush lose to? This is, this is a loser's bracket. This is winner's bracket, Gimmer. You know what? I'm done with you. What are you done with? The is whole game? Is wrong information right now. Oh, yeah, you can't listen to Gimmer. You know, there's wrong information everywhere. I think I people at about. home, they think <laughs> that there's this giant organization at every tournament where the commentators have specialists of every character who's like no. feeding us in. No! There's Gimmer. He's not even paying attention. Do you guys understand? My brain is not that big. I don't know every matchup, I swear. 
I know like two matchups. You know how deep matchups get in this game? Matchups get so Even deep. Say you know two is pretty they incredible. change all the time. I remember in Street Fighter, like new characters come out and maybe there's like a year where new stuff gets discovered. The matchup settles down. It never settles in Melee. Everything's changing. Ooh, I oh. like the DI. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Zealous has got some stuff, but Crush is not looking impressed. We're talking about it. Yes, he is. Crush is very scary in the match. You got to hit those, so and Zealous, put I think that in the win. He's significantly better against floaties. I see. I'd love to talk to him about that, because I find floaties to be super hard, and I find them hard with Marth, too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Crush just, like, kind of ready for when Zealous is in a, like, I need a shield mindset or when I need to fight out of the corner kind of mindset. Seems to just be picking all the right options. Look at that weight. Look at the boldness. You don't stand in front of a shielding Marth as Fox very often at all. That means that he really feels and he understands what Zealous wants to do right now. Wow. You know what we call that? We call that a dismantling. Zealous didn't look like he was on stage. There are little pieces of Zealous that have just been taken apart, like little screws, mm -hmm. little bolts. He might be Zealous just uh, all 4, over the place. 4,999 after this one. Because he lost one. Yeah, this Zealous 4999. No, he lost one. I think that that's correct. I thought that was pretty funny. I liked it a lot. It was good. I just didn't laugh. I don't really I like don't to laugh. Me. I like to play it straight. It's fine. Let everybody else it's laugh. It's fine. We're not going to dwell on it. Lucky versus Moon next. Loser's bracket. One of these players is going to get 65th. Same plays against West Balls. Tied with West Balls. You got some unhappy players here at the big house. Yeah. We're not drop, because dropping the like flies. Bad, no, not but at all. Because they're bad. Relative to their expectations, you know? It's interesting how Melee works. Like, yeah. no one really gets that mad about, like, let's say, you lose to Armada, no one gets mad. But it's when you lose to someone you don't think Absolutely. you should lose to. Absolutely. Yeah. when people get the maddest. Yeah. That's right. Lucky Moon. What do you think? You know what that means? That means Armada is always mad when he loses. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he is. I think that's I accurate. I think that's, that's accurate. Yeah. So He's actually, by 